Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another Quant Price Prediction Update and in this video I'll be giving you the latest developments that have been happening here on the Quant chart which has continued to hold above a key area of support at around the $147.9 mark and at the time of this recording here on the 4 hour chart we have lost the 20 day MA and that means now the 20 day MA is acting as resistance at the moment and before I get further into the technical analysis make sure that you first give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also check out the channel membership and allow me to start the video here on the 4 hour chart by first giving you a recap of what has been happening where you can see that count after making it to an all time high we started the bear market where we had been seeing no prices in this ABC corrective structure which took us back to around the 40.1 dollar mark and after seeing the bear market low we started a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that had been obeying the edu 12 structures where you can see that I have this edu 12 structure in blue having the wave 5 making its peak at around the $229 mark and also completed a larger edu 12 count 1 to the upside and after seeing the high for that first wave whatever we expected next is a corrective structure in the formation of a larger edu 12 count 2 and using the Fibonacci's I was able to come up with the target area to the lower side in the formation of that wave 2 and it is within this target area that I was expecting to see the low for that second wave and because the second wave is a corrective wave we also expected to see an ABC corrective structure and we can see this ABC corrective structure giving us a low at around the $94.4 mark in what I'm terming is the low for that second wave to the lower side and after seeing the low for that wave 2 whatever we expect next is a bounce to the upside in the formation of this wave 3 and sketching out a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave 3 by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area to the upside in the formation of that wave three at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the 398.3 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting that wave three to the upside to do and because the wave three to the upside is an impulsive wave we also expect to see a five wave structure in formation with that larger edge of wave count three and I believe that is what is playing out here on the quant chart where you can see that I have this edge of wave structure in red having that as the first wave then we saw this corrective structure in the formation of that wave 2 and I believe we have also fully maximized the formation of this wave 3 to the upside and whatever we are seeing at the moment could be the start of the formation of this wave 4 before we continue pushing even higher in the formation of this wave 5 to the upside and by first showing you that this wave 3 to the upside has done the minimum that we expect a wave 3 to the upside to do using a trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave that gives me a minimum target area at the fib level 1.618 which perfectly lies at around the $164.3 mark and you can see here on the charts we made our high at around the $165.5 mark and that means we fully maximized the minimum that we expected that wave 3 to the upside to do and whatever we are seeing at the moment could be the start of the formation of this wave 4 and using the Fibonacci's I can sketch out a minimum target area to the lower side in the formation of this wave 4 by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the second wave to the high of that wave 3 and that gives me a minimum retracement area between the fib level 0.382 and the fib level 0.5 which lies between the $141.5 dollar mark and the $134 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting this fourth wave to the lower side to do and I think this will be another perfect entry to get back into quant so that we can be able to ride this move to the upside in the formation of this wave 5 and in the formation of that wave 4 I'm also expecting to see an ABC corrective structure so I'm expecting to see an ABC corrective structure having the wave C fully maximizing the formation of that wave 4 to the lower side and for that move to also play out we need to lose the key area of support at around the $147.8 mark and for that move to play out I'm expecting quant to lose the key area of support at around the $147.9 mark and since we have lost the 20 day MA which was acting as support previously there are chances of continuing to push even lower given that the 20 day MA right now is acting as resistance and we can get back to this key area of support and manage to break through that key area of support to the lower side and once that happens I'll be expecting to see a retest maybe on the one hour time frame before we continue pushing even lower to fully maximize the formation of this wave 4 to the lower side so that is what I'm expecting here on the short term scenarios but you also need to have in mind that 
since we are trading above the key area of support at around the 147.9 dollar mark there are chances that we could find support of that key area of support and see a reaction of that support line and continue pushing higher manage to break above the 20 day ma and continue pushing even higher and maybe get back to the wave 3 high at around the 165.3 dollar mark and in case we manage to break above the wave 3 high make one more lower high over here then i'll be terming the new high as the high for that higher edu 12 count 3 so in case such a move plays out then i'll be terming the new high as the high for that with three then from there we can sketch out a new target area to the lower side in the formation of that with four before we can expect another bounce to the upside in the formation of that with five but for me i'm in favor of having seen the high for this with three at around the 165.5 dollar mark and whatever we are seeing at the moment is a retracement to the lower side in the formation of this with four and once that plays out then we can expect a bounce to the upside in the formation of that with to the upside so that is what i'm expecting on the short term and also on the long term scenarios and also taking a look at the indicators here on the rsi we are trading at around the 44 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support further movements to the lower side in the formation of that way four also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bearish cross and we are also seeing an increase in the selling volume here on the MACD meaning lower prices are still coming our way and fully supporting the formation of that way four. Also taking a look at the volume indicator we are yet to see an increase in the selling volume here on the volume indicator. So let's continue watching those key areas of support and resistances and also continue watching the indicators. So that is what I'm expecting to play out and I will be keeping you updated.